case where you had a 100-point team and you knew they would be pushing back and just a few little puck management things, just a few things turned it against you? Yeah, it was It was definitely, in the end, when you look at the mistakes uh, that they were able to capitalize on, it was puck management. It was We were a little too confident, I think, through neutral ice, a little too casual at times, which... Um, you know, I don't think we were nervous. I don't think we were rattled. I think we were just just overconfident, and and that's what you you know that's what I said before the game is we need games like this with you know the, hopefully the pressure that was on us tonight. Uh, the atmosphere was outstanding. It was a playoff feel, um, and certainly a team that was extremely hungry for two points. So, you know, we got one of their best games effort wise, and. Uh, it's a game our guys can actually learn from. And, and the, the nice thing with us is we know our guys, we're watching our guys get better every day. So when you can have a game like that, you know, the mistakes right now are experience, and it's experience gained uh, because you could see that some of the mistakes tonight were, were a little bit of lack of experience and, and, and gaining experience. So um, that's the silver lining and, and what otherwise was uh, frustrating because it was right there. It was a winnable game. You guys have had problems this year giving up goals what did it say tonight when you get the Olofsson goal when you respond to right them away. right away love the response at three to one I love to get the response the power play got better the power play created chances in the third um, you know even when we, when we fell behind we we had a push so you know that team had to play the whole 60 minutes or, or they weren't going to win that game so um, you know I do credit our guys for that and, and like I said it's it's we we know we're an evolving team. We're a developing team, and 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 we know tonight. I know as a coach, we get better. There's guys in that locker room that took that experience and got better. And and uh, you know for them, it's it, it's it's the same for them. Right? You know, I said with the age of our guys and the, and the number of games they played in their positions. Um, you know, our our centermen had a tough time tonight on faceoffs. We have three young centermen that weren't centermen in the NHL last year, yeah. and in Middlestead, Cousins, and, and Thompson, and they struggled in the faceoff circle. Yet, we were able to get pucks back and have a lot of possession. Usually, your faceoff percentage is like that. You're chasing the game the whole game, but that wasn't the yeah. case. We were able to get pucks back, possess pucks, make make plays, but uh, just some careless errors that their skilled guys capitalized on. When you look at uh, the situation, getting two early goals, I mean, you knew you were going to get the big pushback in the home and home. What did that feel like to have the lead on them and jump on them again? Yeah, it, you know, it, we, we got the lead and we earned the lead. I thought we deserved it. We made plays. We, uh, we looked good. We looked confident. Like I said, that's why I think later in the game, some of our mistakes were, were overconfidence. You know, we, we were too confident, too sure of ourselves, uh, and didn't buckle down. And, and, and that's part of, you know, I think that's part of gaining experience is balancing it. Um, it, it you know, you know you have a sense you're, you're on your game, you're feeling good, but you can't feel too good about yourself. And, um, and we made some simple mistakes to the wrong players um, that, uh, you know, the skilled guys that can make plays under pressure and don't need a lot to, to convert. And that's what you saw with Tara Vinen. Uh, and Shveshnikov and Aho for the for the winner. Everybody knows about Jeff's goal scoring ability, but his playmaking ability seems to have stuck out lately as well. What have you noticed in that regard? Work ethic. He's working. He's hungry. He's uh, he's intent upon making plays as he always is, and, and uh, it starts with his work. I mean, he's he's ready to go. Thank you.